What's up guys, Skeeter Rampage here. So I kind of took a lot of my Funko Pops out of box, and you might have noticed this in previous videos, but I wanted to show you guys and tell you exactly why. So let's check it out. So before we jump into everything I want to talk about, you can already see some Funko Pops out of box up there. I want to do the question of the day. Now the question of the day is, do you prefer your Funko Pops in box or out of box? Let me know down below. Now, as you guys can see, I've taken a lot of Funko Pops out of the box and there's a specific reason for this and I'll, I'll get you guys to the main display in a second. So the reason for this is actually because I wanted to create a better display and I wanted to create a better kind of like Funko Pop office and take some things out of box and experience more details and everything like that. And the idea was to take out a majority of my collection, however, it turns out it's a lot harder than I thought it was, and it takes a lot of time, and it takes up a lot more space. And you'd think taking them out of box would actually take up less space, but it depends how you display them. Now what I mean by this is usually with my shelves, I can actually fit six six inch pops here. But as you guys can see, I have all my six inch pops up here, I have 10 inch pops up here, and I can only fit one super size six inch pop and then two pop moments here instead of six six inch pops. So obviously I just lost a bunch of space there and I had to throw them up there. And the same thing goes over here. I have one pop moment over here or pop town, excuse me, as well as two six inch pops. So I just lost literally three uh, spaces of six inch pops back there, three back there, three back there. And as you guys can see, I took a lot out of box to create just a big anime display. Like I have my Jiraiya, I have the little Naruto minis, Kuruma, as well as the uh, Kakashi Susano, and we even do have Shinron and the um, the Great Eight Vegeta here. But as you guys can see, I, I made the sacrifice of space for a better kind of like look in my collection. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how happy about that I am because I might have to get one or two more shelves to be able to make a proper display and not so kind of like jumbled up because it does feel kind of jumbled up right here but I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. Now I did do this a couple weeks ago and I just never made the video on it unfortunately. Um, and I'm just now getting to it. The video just kind of got scrapped for a while and then I was like, eh, a lot of people keep asking about my out of box display now. So I figured I would make this video now and talking about it a little bit. Now, I do want to show you this before we get to the main display that I did actually do. So up here, it's kind of a little bit jumbled, like she fell down. I have an out-of-box Spider-Man there, Punisher Chase, some all kinds of different stuff. Like I have, I have a bunch of different collectibles that you guys probably don't know about, but um, I do collect other things. They're just, it's just very, very jumbled here. Uh, so in this glass, this is the one glass display case I do have, and uh, it has like the Pain prototype that we're going to be doing in the future for charity. Uh, the also the other Shikamaru prototype we have. A bunch of my sign pops. Honestly, this is a lot of my sign ones in here. Uh, we have some like. Uh, statues and like sodas, the one piece sodas we showed off in the video. Uh, these are available over on FYE for like five bucks, I think if you guys wanna pick it up. And we have some other statues and then like a Hikari figure and then my two Attack on Titan um, Annie's. You know what's funny? This has been down here for a while. I forget which this, actually I think this goes to my Batman. Anyways though, the idea of this display was just for something really cool. I actually have another one of these display cases and you can get these at Ikea if you're wondering. And it does look pretty good for the most part, but um, the problem is like when I move, you guys hear it like rattling? Hear when I move? My custom's on the floor. It's really messy right now. I need a vacuum from uh, doing my last live and packing and things like that. The floor is really dirty. Uh, but anyways, when I move, for some reason this floor here is very unstable. I don't know why, but yeah, it's very unstable. So um, I put this kind of like briefly under it, my carpet, but it kind of helps it uh, from stop moving. But yeah, it kind of like moves. And when you walk in, the glass rattles. So I don't love it. But I think I just need a flatter floor in the next place we live or something like that. And of course, this does bring me to my main display. I do have a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! like bigger pops up top. And I thought this looked really nice, to be honest, when I did it. And then my Spider-Man display, which I'm actually really proud of. I recently added Doctor Strange, which I'm going to be changing this again, actually, and putting a lot more of the Marvel pops that I do own. But... I really like how this turned out, and you guys have, might have seen it. I don't know if I've actually done a video with this side of the uh, background yet. I don't think I have just yet. I've done like TikToks, and you guys seen it, but um, I've never really shown it fully off. And uh, I wanted to save it for a video because I figured it'd be fun and give you guys an idea of like kind of what pops look out of box. If you know me, I've kept 
a lot of my pops inbox for the longest time. So this is something like I'm experiencing and it's something like new for me for sure. And I like it, I like how it looks, but it's a lot of work because literally, when I tell you guys, I can fit five across, five across up top, and then uh, it's three, basically you can go three deep in this. So you can fit 30 pops on here and I lost a lot of space because as you can see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can only fit 12 now instead of the 30. So I lost 18 pop space and I had to throw a lot of those down there and down there and back behind these. And I lost literally, what is that, 36 spaces, three for the six inch, three, three, three. So I lost a lot of pop space doing this. So I need a whole nother two shelves just to make an entire out of, uh, out of box display. Now, funny enough, this is actually an empty corner that I do have and I have one over there as well next to my desk and that's my desk, it's extremely messy right now. Code Geass, love it. Um, <laughs> anyways though, yes, this is an empty corner that I could technically put a shelf in, but as you guys can see, I have like the table here, and then I have the, um, like I keep my lights over here on either side, and I wanna hang something up on the walls. I've just been a little, cause I, I wasn't sure how permanent this um, this house that we were in, that, that we basically, cause we rent, and I wasn't exactly sure how permanent it was, so I didn't want to put a bunch of holes in the wall. However, we might be staying here for another year, so I might really, really decorate the office this time around. Um, like, I was willing to do it with the shelves and things like that, but I didn't want to hang a bunch of stuff and on the off chance that I would have to paint this entire room again and patch holes in the wall. I just like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I was being a little lazy there, not getting the full experience of my office. But I think if I want to take, like, YouTube to the next level and, like, um, show you guys a lot more cool backgrounds and things like that for other channels in the future I might have, then I think I definitely have to like just take that leap. Um, but yeah, I have, it's, it's, it's funny because I have posters, like I have prints, I have signed things that I could definitely hang up. Like, I don't know, or oh, I did so show this on a video. Um, I never really go, or I never show off this closet in the video cause it's just full of a bunch of stuff. But like, I have stuff like this I would love to hang, like the Hugh Jackman, um, Hugh Jackman signed print here that Bailey gave me for my I think it was, was it Valentine's Day or my birthday? No, my birthday's this month. Um, <laughs> it was Valentine's Day. Um, and then, oh no, it was our anniversary actually. It was our anniversary. And then I have this, a signed print from Jariah, the voice actor, when I visited him in his home, when I did that signing. Um, and then I, I have like so many other really, really cool pop, like prints and like posters and things like that, that I would love to hang up. I just, again, I've never really utilized this office to the full extent. Um, and I, I think I want to, like, if we do stay here for another year and I sign another lease, because, you know, those house prices are insane. I, I can't afford to buy a house right now. I'm only 22. <laughs> well, then again, some 22 year olds do have it fully figured out, but I don't make that much money. Uh, but anyways, I, I don't know. I wanted to give you guys kind of like a collection update, kind of a life update at the same time. And, uh, just kind of show you guys the chaos that it is like, it's like, those are some pops I was selling. That's the light, but you know, there's, there's stuff just all over and it feels very congested right now. I think I'm around 500 pops now and I've never been that high in pops and I've debated getting rid of some sets or changing some things out because I usually do that. Um, and I, I have like a bunch of like guide videos and like how to collect and things like that. Some other tips and tricks that I want to give you guys that I haven't exactly been following. So I don't know if I'm the best person to give them, but I'm going to give them anyways um, because I do follow them from time to time. But I collect a lot of things. I have a lot of different uh, sets. Some things I don't really fully care about. Some I do. So it's just, it's hit or miss. Some things I'm holding on because maybe they might be more valuable in the future. Who knows? Like, I don't know. I collect for a million different reasons, but I'm having fun doing it. I think that's what matters. But I know this was a little bit of a different type of video because I do a lot of news and I do a lot. I try to do unboxings and haunts and things like that. This is different. But it's like a collection video, um, a life update, and just letting you guys know I took some things out of box. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it was a little bit different. But thank you so much for watching. That's pretty much it, though. It was a shorter kind of just talking to you guys video, moving around a little bit, not sitting in the chair. But I love you guys. I want to I wanna give you guys updates like these. So if you guys want to see random videos like this more in the future leave a like down below it helps me out and it lets me know as well as comment down below make sure to answer the question of the day and we're gonna end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the patreon supporters of the channel you guys absolutely rock you guys make a lot happen on the channel so thank you so much for all your love and support if you guys want to check out the patreon help support the channel and join our patreon only discord where we share updates and news and all kinds of different things check out that link down below we also have a facebook group it's awesome make sure to join it it's buy sell and trade and we have almost fourteen thousand members a lot of friends you can make and lastly 
be following me on all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.